What's going on guys? It's a bye from Saba Hagar. Welcome back to another episode of uh, Search and Destroy Mastery. We're playing on Breach. I'm not really good at this map. In fact, every time I've played on this map, I've gotten destroyed, obliterated, uh, to a whole nother level. So we'll see. We'll see how I do. It's crazy because every time I say or every time I think I'm going to do very, very bad, I ended up beasting. I, I end up beasting, I mean. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I've seen a lot of people with the Tempest and the Scythe and, and all of these other weapons and they're li literally wasting a specialist because I've never seen anybody get uh, that stuff. Let's go with... You know, I'm gonna go with... Let's go with fucking Ebony and Ivory, man. I think this is my Ebony and Ivory class. Mainly because I got the Extended Mag, Silencer and the Long Barrel. I still don't know if Long Barrel uh, affects Extended mag, I mean silencer, but Do this It seems that the bomb carrier knows what he's doing and he wants to go towards B so Oh, I have no I thought that guy didn't see me so I was like, okay, I'm gonna be able to drop down But I, in a way I, I kind of um, I kind of choked there, you know But at least now I know that there's at least two guys in the enemy team that are heading towards that B bomb Which is going to give me a slight opportunity to maybe flank them around. Like, I'm already thinking of a strategy on how to combat that. Uh, I think I talked about this in the previous episode, but I'm not too sure. So just in case I didn't talk about it. And I, I'm pretty sure I didn't talk about it. Uh, but yeah, one thing that I wanted to let you guys know, because of course, Search and Destroy Mastery is also a series to make you guys better Search and Destroy players, is that uh, sometimes in Search and Destroy, dying could be a good thing. Because when you die, you make a mistake, and obviously you learn from that mistake. And you know, you know, that there's a specific dude camping at a specific place and, you know, all of that good stuff. So, yeah, that's why dying in Search and Destroy is not really a really, really bad thing. Sometimes it's really good because it tells you where the enemy is and what the enemy is doing and how many people go to this spot and all of that stuff. Remember, guys, like I have said before in the past, um, newbie... And intermediate search and destroy players, most of the time, if a strategy worked out for them the first round, they're going to do it the second round. Which means that if they went to A-bomb on the first round and they ended up getting two kills on the second round, they're also going to be going towards that A-bomb side. It doesn't even matter, you know, which side of the map they're on, they're going to keep on doing it. For example, the guys that killed me at B, they're going to go to B. Oh, fuck, I took the wrong route. Yeah, I don't really know this map that well, guys. Sorry. I see a sniper. I'm not going to challenge it, mainly because obviously i don't want to fucking die and i get fucked in the ass thanks to this fucking uh noob right here with the fucking sniper oh my god i should have gotten that guy but i i took too long to aim so i guess it was my fault honestly yeah, right now I'm, I'm doing pretty bad, but at the end of the, yeah, at the end of the last episode, the, the previous episode, I mean, I was doing super, super terrible, and I ended up fucking beasting at the end. Well, I didn't end up beasting, I ended up getting three kills, but it is double XP weekend, guys, do keep that in mind, so. And this dude got completely outplayed here, dude. Damn. Like, that's also another tip, guys. If you guys shoot somebody, and then you guys see a corner, nine out of ten times, the dude's gonna go on that corner. And 9 out of 10, well, not 9 out of 10 times, because not a lot of people do this. If you're really, really good at it, you're going to go prone the in the corner. Because, of course, when you're a prone target, hostile you're harder to kill. Did it say hostile UAV in your AO? I think it did. This guy is nuts. This guy is fucking nuts. Look at him with the fucking bomb. Is he going to plant it? No way, dude. He planted it. This dude is nuts, bro. Let me plant the trip, mate. No, I don't want it like this. I want it like that. Fuck, man. I'm worried about the back. What did I say, man? He's going to go the other way. Oh, my God. Are you serious, dude? I don't know how I'm getting outgunned like this. And in their kill cams, it looks like it's perfect. But you know what? Fuck you, bitch. Got you with my trip mine. I knew that shit was gonna work. That's the difference. Uh, I mean, that's the, the good thing about the trip mine. Wait, did we lose this round? Oh, yeah, we lost this round. We got two snipers. Oh, wow, we didn't. I guess I wasn't even paying attention and to the bomb timer. Get ready for the next round. 
But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty good. Thank God that the trip mine ended up working out for me. Uh, yeah, man. One thing that I have noticed in this game is that the frag and the semtex. I don't really think they're that effective. In fact, on, mod on Advanced Warfare, uh, I believe, I didn't really think the Semtex and the Frag were extremely good. But, we'll see. Alright, this time... Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. This is why I don't like the jumping system in Black Ops. I almost fell there. Alright, I know there's gonna be a dude that's gonna rush this shit. Just because he did it the previous round. We're gonna throw this here. Good! Good, it actually landed how I wanted it to land. Now we're gonna go towards the A-bomb. Oh shit, this is not my haymaker. Nobody in here. I said towards the A-bomb. One left, he's probably around the A-bomb somewhere. I'm probably gonna kill me. Since, you know, considering all the bad luck I've had recently. Like, nice seriously. Work, Get ready for the next round. Wow, bro. This is a terrible game. I'm still gonna upload it, though. You know, guys, I, I like to upload games that are entertaining. So if I get a game where I was just dying the entire time, and... Like, if I get a game that I was dying the entire time, but I was doing some serious beasting commentary and tips, Switching I'm gonna upload it. Ready. But if I get a game that I'm dying just constantly... If I get a game that I go zero kills and... I don't know, let's say four deaths, right? Because I fucked up all four rounds. I'm not gonna upload it, okay? Mainly because there really isn't anything to learn. Unless, of course, I did specific things that, you know, kind of in a, in a way got my attention. I have three guys here. Alright, so mainly my objective is to let them push forward so I can plant a fucking bomb. And, of course, it ended up working out for me. Maybe, maybe. I might get killed by a frag grenade or something. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be somebody that's gonna be trying to head here, head here towards the bomb. So I'm gonna flank around, Let's see what I can do. I do have somebody close to the B bomb, so oh fuck, how did I not see that guy, man? So that's the importance of extended mags right there. That's why I use extended mags for those of you guys that are wondering, like why the hell does Salvaje use extended mags? Like they're not, they're not even that helpful. Uh, honestly, extended max has always been a personal preference of mine, uh, mainly because I have more bullets to waste. Uh, I, and you know, sometimes, especially when my aim isn't that good, extended max saves my life. Like for example, on that encounter, I think if I wouldn't have had extended max, though, I would have had that. But um, I don't know. I'm not so sure. Pretty decent game. It's not great, but you know, I was able to get the plant. I was able to get both kills. Uh, let's see how much experience we're gonna get from this. Uh, in the after action report of course hope you guys enjoyed this episode of course if you did feel free to drop it a like uh feel free to subscribe to join the salvaje cartel i'll be seeing you guys on the next episode of search and destroy mastery let's see how much experience we got of course remember it is double xp weekend let's see let's see what chef d got cooking for breakfast talking about breakfast after this episode i'm actually gonna go eat some breakfast all right, come on, come on. I got a total of 12k, so that's a pretty good. Guy. That's pretty good, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to drop a like. You know, all that good stuff. Peace out, guys.